Let me show you a free alternative to Claude Code that still uses all of the latest Claude models. Now, Claude Code is an agentic tool that can manipulate your file system to modify files, like coding files or text files or really any files on your file system. We're going to do something very similar, but we're going to use what's called an MCP or a model context protocol. Without getting too technical, you can imagine an MCP like a USB-C port on your phone. We can plug in things like headphones or maybe a charging brick to plug into the wall so we can charge our battery. And the headphones and the charger, those are acting like tools that can manipulate things directly on our phone. We just have to connect them through a universal standardized port, which is the USB-C port or the MCP. Our phone is a client like Claude desktop. So now you can imagine AI on our client can communicate to a tool, say something that can modify our file system, and they have a communication back and forth. We're essentially leveling up our AI to kind of be our agent. So how do we go about getting this all set up? Well, we have to download and configure a bunch of things, or we can run a simple script that I created that's in the description. And all you have to do is double click it and it will automatically install everything and configure everything so that you can start using it immediately. But don't worry if you don't want to use this script, I will also show you the manual way of installing and configuring everything. But first, let me show you how to use the script. All you have to do is once you download it, you right click the script and do run with PowerShell. Once you click this, it opens up a PowerShell terminal and it will kick off the whole installation process. It does ask you to run the PowerShell script as an administrator. And that's because since we're modifying our system and installing some things, it needs to have the admin privileges in order to do that installation. So I'll click yes and let it run. You can see here that we're installing a few different things and we have some outputs here. Right now it's installing Node.js and it uses the internet to grab everything. So you do need to have a connection with the internet from the machine that you're working on. Also, since this is a PowerShell script, it is only on Windows. Windows 10 or 11 will work. And once it's finished, you'll have Claude running and you can sign in and start working with it. So to show you how it works, I signed in here and you'll notice down here we have this little hammer icon and it says 56 MCP tools available. And those are the ones that we have installed and configured on the Claude desktop using the script. So I'm going to give it a simple question to warm things up and I'm going to ask it what's in my documents folder. Now when the AI wants to access a tool, it does always ask you if it's okay to use. You want to be careful here if you're installing other MCPs because this could be a security vulnerability. It can access your file system. So obviously it can do nefarious things, but the ones that we have installed here are pretty trusted. So I'm going to allow each one of the tools to be used. So after asking it what's in my documents folder, it's telling me that there are a couple files there's this NVIM file, and then there's a directory, this Windows PowerShell directory. And if we open up the Explorer and check out my documents folder, we can see that there is an NVIM file and a Windows PowerShell directory. And so that was pretty accurate. I don't see the desktop.any, and it also says that I have these other sim links to other areas in my file system. But I wonder if that's just Windows Explorer not showing it all. Or it could be hallucinating from the AI. So let me instead ask it what's in my downloads folder, because I only have one thing in there and I know if it gets it right, it should only print out one file. So it looks like it found the file. It says that install Claude MCPs.ps1 is in there. And if I go to my downloads folder, I just have that one file. Okay, that was the quick automatic way of using that script to get everything installed and configured. But let me show you what the script is doing and how to manually install everything if you don't want to download and use that script in the description. So we need to download and install a few different things. If you saw on that script, it had some output there and it showed us everything that it was downloading. The first thing is Node.js. And you'll want to get version 20 or above, but you might as well get the latest stable version, which is 22 at the time of this recording. All we do is go to this link up here, which is also in the description, so you can check it out there. And then we scroll down and click on the Windows installer. From here, we can just use the installer to install Node. And by default, everything that it comes with is perfectly fine. So you could just hit next all the way through and change directory that you might want to change if you want to move it to a different directory. After we install Node, we also want to install UV, which is like a project or package manager for Python. To do that, we can use their nifty PowerShell command here and just copy it and then paste it in our PowerShell and let it run. So if we open up PowerShell instance and copy that command into our terminal and then hit enter, it should install 
UV on its own. Then once that's successfully installed, we only have one more thing to download and configure. And that is our client, which is Claude Desktop. We can access it by going to this URL up here and down here, we can click on the Windows to get the Windows installer. Once that's downloaded, you can go ahead and run it and set up Claude Desktop. Once it's installed, you can go ahead and open it up and sign in. And you'll notice that we come to this screen, which looks similar to the one that we had before, except we don't have that hammer symbol anymore because we don't have any MCPs installed. We can check out which MCPs to install at this URL here. It's glama.ai forward slash MCP forward slash servers. And inside of here, we can choose which servers to be selecting to configure on our Claude desktop. The first one that I like to install is called file system MCP server. And you can get the configuration by going and scrolling all the way down to the configuration section where we will be using the MPX configuration. And inside of here, we'll copy what is here. So let's copy this to our clipboard and then we'll open up the configuration and edit it. To do that, let's go back to Claude desktop and go up in the upper left to these three bars, click on it, go to file and then go to settings. Or you can hit control comma on your keyboard. This opens up this panel and on the left hand side, we want to go to developer and under developer, we'll have a couple options here. This get started opens up a new window in your browser and tells you how to manipulate the configuration file. But what we want to do is hit the edit config button. This will open up the file explorer and we can see that it's highlighting this Claude underscore desktop underscore config dot JSON. And we want to edit this in order to edit it. Let's right click it and then go to edit in notepad here. We can actually see that there is already an entry in here. It says MCP servers, which we happen to copy from that configuration for the file system MCP, which is fine. We'll just highlight this whole thing and then hit control V on our keyboard to paste it in. So now we have this configuration. We also need to update something because right now it's pointing to users forward slash username forward slash desktop, because the way that the file system MCP server works is it only allows it to work on the paths that are configured here. So we just have a comma separated list of all of the paths that we want to allow this tool to use. Use. Right now, both of these are pointing to paths that don't exist. So I'm going to delete one of them and I'm going to instead add a path that does exist. So I've changed this to use my documents folder because that's where we'll create something in there. Now we can go ahead and save it and we're going to move on to another MCP server to add to our configuration. The next one that I use is the Claude Desktop Commander MCP and this allows us to run commands on our file system, like commands that you would run normally on like a terminal like PowerShell or Command Prompt. So again, and we scroll down to the configuration section and you'll notice that we have this MCP servers again and we don't want to copy that. We just want to copy the part after it, which is the desktop commander command that we want to use in our configuration. So after I've highlighted it, I'm going to hit control C on my keyboard and then we'll go back to the notepad and we'll make another entry. So after this last curly brace from the file system MCP, we want to put a comma and then hit enter and then we'll paste in our command. I also just want to add a few spaces here so that it's just in line with the other one. And now we can save this again, but we still have some more MCP servers that we want to configure. The next one that I want to install is called Playwright. So this allows the AI to open up a browser and then interact with it like a human would to get results, some answers that it might want. So again, we scroll down to the configuration section and we can copy this Playwright portion and then hit control C on the keyboard and go back to our notepad and once again, go down to the curly brace, hit a comma, hit enter. I'm gonna space it out first this time, and then I will hit control V to paste in that configuration. Okay, we're almost done. We only have one more that we want to install, and that is the fetch MCP server. This allows us to fetch any web content that we want. So if the AI needs to learn about something, it can use this tool to fetch any content, like searching on Google or whatever we want. So stop me when I'm repeating myself, but we scroll down to the configure section and and then we grab the fetch portion and we add it to our configuration. So I'm going to control C to copy and then go to the notepad and go ahead and hit the comma button, hit enter space a few times and then control V to paste. You also notice that that most recent one uses the UVX command as opposed to the MPX command that we had been using on all of the other ones. So once we're finished here, we can hit control S to save this file and we can close out of it. Now, if we go back to Claude, we still don't see the hammer. And if we go to our settings page and go to developer, we also don't get any list of MCPs that we have installed. And that is because every time that you edit that configuration file, you have to restart the Claude desktop. So we'll close out of this and then we'll go down here 
here to the bottom right where there's this carrot symbol. Click on it, right click on Claude and hit quit, or you can go up in the upper left, click the three dots, go to file and then do exit. So now we can double click on our Claude icon and open up Claude. And now we have this hammer down here and it says 54 MCP tools available. If we go in the upper left, go to file and then go to settings, we can go to the developer tab and see that we have all four of these things installed and running. So let's test this out. I'm gonna say create a word guessing game like Wordle that can be played in the PowerShell. Use my documents folder to store the code for the game. And now I'm going to hit enter and just let it run and I'll come back after it's finished. Awesome, it looked like it finished. So let's check out the Explorer and go to my documents. And we can see we have a couple scripts here and also a words list. So let's go ahead and right click on the start Wordle PS and run with PowerShell and see what it gives me. Oh neat, it even has some colors in here and it tells me how it, how it works. It has this green color for a correct letter, correct position, yellow for a correct letter, wrong position, and then gray for a letter not in the word. So I'll start off my guess with stare. Ooh, okay, it even shows me a QWERTY keyboard here and displays what I've used so I can know um, everything that I've used so far. The next one I'll try is plank. Wow, it's really close. It just needs something other than the P, which I'm gonna guess is a C, so I'm gonna go with clank here. Good to know, even if you type a word that isn't a word, it tells you that's not a word and it asks you to try again. So let me try flank. Okay, flank is definitely a word, but it might not be in our words list and that's why it's telling me it's not a word. So let's do a different guess, I guess. My next one is blank and I'm hoping that blank is it. Awesome, it looks like blank was it. It says, congratulations, you got the word in three tries. Um, it has some error here, which we would probably copy this paste it back into our chat and have it fix it. But just for brevity, it gives me some game statistics here and asks me to play again. So we can see that it actually worked. Like there was a full game here, which is really powerful. You can imagine with Claude Code, you could do the same thing. However, it would be costing you money to create all of these assets, all of the code and all of the word files and everything else. So instead of using the Claude API, we're actually using the Claude desktop app and that makes it relatively inexpensive. So instead of being in the free version, you could also pay $20 a month to get the Claude Pro access. And that just gives you more limits. You won't hit your limits as often, but that just goes hand in hand with their chatbot. So you can do all of this and install the MCP servers on the free version and get all of that you want out of the free version. You just might hit that limit a lot quicker than if you had the paid pro version. So you can see it takes a little bit more time investment and finagling in order to get this thing working if you want to do it manually. But that script completely writes all of this for you. So all you have to do is run that script and then start doing whatever you wanna do with the AI. So don't forget, I have all of the links in the description and you can go and check those out. You can also download the script if you would like and use that as opposed to manually installing and setting everything up. If you have any problems or issues, go ahead and put those in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video if you enjoyed it. And that is how you can use a free alternative to Claude Code inside of Windows.